Okay, so hello friends and it's my pleasure and uh, to welcome Dr. Komal Gupta. She's ranked 26 in Ames and congratulations Komal. Thank you And absolutely delighted to welcome you today. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we would like to uh, hear from her, her journey, her association with TAMS and exactly how did she prepare all those uh, multiple questions which are popping in my head <laughs> I have to ask her but first we'll start with a little bit about a background where did you uh, where did you grow up where are mm -hmm. your parents and which is your parent medical college okay so uh, I'm from basically I'm from Haryana and I did my MBBS from Ames New Delhi I completed my internship in December of last year so uh, so just just sort of finished yeah your just finished my MBBS okay. and you um, uh, your parents are in uh, Haryana you said yeah, yeah in Haryana okay. mm -hmm. and you are the first one to become a doctor or yeah like my family is mainly involved with people with business and all yes. those people. oh that's mm -hmm. wonderful and um, uh, tell me about your journey with dams when did you join dams and uh, you've been a student for how many years uh, okay. a little bit more about that so uh, I joined dams during my uh, pre-final year which was found in the foundation batch so I joined in 2016 okay. and I have been a DAM student since then. Okay, so almost three, three now. Almost years. three years, yeah, yeah. Yeah, almost three years. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So um, how was, um, what, did, what was your focus as a foundation student? Uh, my main focus was to come and learn the topics in the class and make good notes yes. so that when I go back to my room and try to read the textbooks, it's easier for me. Easier for you, that's Yeah. Good. So, so it kind of simplifies it. Yeah, it uh, simplifies it. And the same amount of information which I could process after reading the textbook two or three times, yes. if I've already understood the topic during my class in times I can easily understand that much in during my first read only so, so it saves a lot of time yes that's a wonderful view mm -hmm. which I get from uh, Dr. Komal about how it not only helped her prepare for a PG entrance mm -hmm. as also helped her in a college studies in college studies yeah. and helped her mm -hmm. to uh, sort of look at the standard textbooks mm -hmm. Um, in a much better way, mm -hmm. isn't it? Right. All right. So, um, and you, as as a foundation student, you basically mm -hmm. focused on um, building up your concepts Concept. mm -hmm. and building up your notes and yeah. making mm -hmm. sure that these are ready by the time you finally start your serious preparation in internship. Is that so? Yeah, I started my preparation in internship, but I, it was not very consistent. Okay. So that's why I did not get a um, better rank last time. I got 152 rank in AIMS exam. Okay. So I decided to give the exam again, again. with a much consistent preparation and better. Uh, right. So you took up TND in the internship, in your internship? Yeah, I took a TND in internship. So how did the test and discussion help you? So uh, as I told you, I was not that consistent. <laughs> this time I was a little bit consistent. So uh, uh, I really like the discussion part of the TND okay, okay. because the type of notes which we get in TND, they are so concise. Like yes. for example, all the important yeah, topics. All the yes. important topics. Like Dipti Ma'am's notes, they are so concise that yes. you don't need to go back and read the original foundation notes. Correct. Sumer sir, your okay. class I attended. Okay. So okay. all of those those notes are really good quality notes, okay. which you can rely on for the exam. Okay. And anything special that you did for AIMS besides our notes? Did you focus a lot mm -hmm. on our DVT sessions, our AIMS discussions? How did these also help you? Okay, so I used eMedicos app. Okay. So on the eMedicos especially, there was a uh, emergency medicine uh, capsule type okay. of thing which was given by okay. Dr. Naman, okay. which I used because in AIMS, they asked a lot a lot about emergencies. Okay, that's uh, right. Like yeah. medicine and surgery, both trauma and uh, emergency medicine okay. so that was very helpful other than that I attended D DVT the entire DVT session okay. some questions were directly from DVT mm -hmm. like those topics and those questions which I had never read before which was for, uh, for the first time they were discussed in DVT and then they were they came exactly as it is in the exam so that was extremely mm -hmm. helpful I'm yeah. sure the session what about the AIMS discussion that did you see that uh, uh, that AIMS capsule this time no? yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I saw that also okay so in that that, uh, in that uh, Siddharth sir's uh, PSM capsule was very helpful okay. because he already gave all the updates so now we don't have to waste time and in, in going and searching uh, for every other update yes, and especially PSM it becomes mm -hmm. such an important thing to mm -hmm. have uh, look at the updates that's wonderful and how did you did you take the grand tests regularly uh, last time I did not take grand tests okay. regularly but this time I was you trying to give grand test I gave the uh, that uh, test which we have to give in the exam center CBT. from CBT, yeah, CBT. I gave that test okay. and it was a very uh, like when I gave that test I felt that there were so many questions mm. from the new pattern and it was a very uh, tiring and a very long exam but yeah. 
it actually helped because in the initially in the main aims exam we were expecting hardly we will get 20 or 30 new pattern questions but because in the dams exam they were around 50 questions and in the main aims exam also 50 questions so, so it, it was, was very, very good helpful. practice mm -hmm. it was a very good practice i'm sure mm -hmm. and it gave you an idea about what a feel of what mm -hmm. the, ex the so that the panic was. type of thing about the number that of questions that already happened in the cbt okay so okay. this time good, i was more good, prepared good. Mm -hmm. so that's a very nice way to expose yourself to these kind of questions mm -hmm. take your tests regularly whatever mm -hmm. Uh, the dam sort of organizes mm -hmm. for you so that it and the value of CBT mm -hmm. uh, here's uh, uh, the immense value which CBT mm -hmm. did played in your uh, final mm -hmm. uh, in your AIMS exam that is a, that's also very nice to hear now tell me what are your future plans so I'm thinking of uh, taking surgery in AIMS New Delhi <laughs> that, that's always mm -hmm. really heartening to hear mm -hmm. that uh, when somebody says especially uh, a lady taking up surgery it's, it's always very very heartening to hear that uh, we have lesser ladies in surgery mm -hmm. but it's always nice to hear that and i'm so glad that those gender divisions are no longer there mm -hmm. and um uh, tell me a little bit more about how did you how was your what was your day especially in this uh, in the last let's mm -hmm. say five or six months let's say mm -hmm. this year after you completed your internship and you actually uh, decided to sort of seriously mm. take up or seriously prepare for the uh, entrance exam. What was your day like? What was your schedule like? Was it a tar target oriented study? What, mm -hmm. was, what was your main focus on? Okay, so a little so bit more about uh, this journey. So uh, I was pretty confident about my clinical subjects mm -hmm. because during our professional exams, uh, we study a lot about those clinical subjects. Okay. So my main focus was first year and second year subjects. Yes. So what I did was I uh, gave January and February to first and second year subjects. Okay. Like I gave my entire January, February, uh, February to those subjects. Mm -hmm. And after that, in March starting, I started my revision. So what I used to do, I would open my question bank, uh, okay. question bank as in previous year question papers of AIMS yes. and I would go question, uh, question wise like uh, if there is a question I would uh, go back and refer to my notes okay. and read that question so that okay. mm, that way all the important topics were covered again and again, again, again. because the number of questions and the topics which were getting repeated yes. was there so I could uh, repeat and revise uh, the most important topics again and again. So your main focus here was first and the second year subject first year because you had year. identified these are your weak areas mm -hmm. and it's always good to identify and be mm -hmm. aware of what are your weak areas and mm -hmm. build on that and make sure that you uh, the weak the weak areas actually become your strengths finally mm -hmm. when you go for the exam mm -hmm. and um, uh, so uh, the, the first January February was basically concentrating on this and thereafter you started doing more of a question, question oriented, uh, oriented and that was basically targeted towards mm -hmm. aims towards aims that is yeah. what you're trying to mm. isn't it all right oh great and anything else that you've thought besides what we've discussed anything else that mm. you thought was is required and what you could probably mm. share with uh, like i felt the strategy strategy during the mm -hmm. exam was very important like most of my friends uh, mm -hmm. they told me that they could not complete their exam but i had already completed 160 questions during the first two hours only oh great so really nice. I made a very well made plan before the exam I uh, so I used just that plan during my exam so I had enough time left uh, for revision and for doing every question properly oh that's very nice mm -hmm. because time management is where everybody mm -hmm. sort of uh, and you had how important were the new pattern questions how like did you did it phase you did it um, did you go into a panic mode or did you uh, were okay with it so uh, initially when I saw that there were 150 questions only uh, from the previous pattern and 50 questions pr from the new pattern, I felt a little bit of panic but I decided to stick with my plan. Okay. So my plan was I divided the time of 3 hours into 6 parts. So okay. I had uh, six, ti uh, 6 30 minute time slots. So in every 30 minute time slot uh, uh, I had to do 40 questions. So I tried to stick to that because if a new pattern question that is also one mark and a single choice question is also one, one mark. mark. Correct. And I was more confident about single choice because that's what we always learned. Always learned. So Correct. there was no point in compromising on that and just going behind the uh, new pattern question. So because I st uh, stick uh, stick to my plan, I was yes. able to complete 160 question in two hours, okay. and then uh, I had 40 questions left, in which I had already decided that I am going to leave uh, sequential choice questions okay. because those were plus one and minus one. So okay. until unless I was 100 percent sure that I am correct, I will uh, attempt it. Otherwise, I'll leave it. Okay. So that way, I planned my exam and I was able to complete my exam well in time. 
Okay. Yeah. So and you had sufficient time for revision as well. Yeah, I had last one hour for forty questions of the new pattern and, and a revision of the previous questions. Oh, lovely! That's wonderful mm -hmm. time management. So that I think that also comes with practice. So mm -hmm. I'm sure that you must have uh, practiced um, uh, questions because unless mm -hmm. uh, to make a, a plan like this and to stick to it mm -hmm. is possible only if you practice. Mm -hmm. So your practice was mainly aims old uh, the old questions or did you also try the question bank or something? Uh, like I did aims previous year question and yeah. also grand test and all the CBD tests which were there in uh, dams also. You've been taking the grand tests also regularly? Yeah, yeah. Were they also helpful? Yeah, they were Definitely, helpful. Definitely, because mm -hmm. I'm sure that it's, it's always, uh, it's this is a practice which comes to mm -hmm. you. Once you get used to that and uh, speed and mm -hmm. then time management also becomes an important mm -hmm. issue there yes okay great and um, anything else that you would like to share with our uh, anything else special uh, that you mm. I would just say that uh, stay focused don't run behind thousand different things yes. if you decide that you are going to read notes then just read notes it doesn't matter what your friend is reading if you have decided you want to read notes just read those so that helped me a lot. I was uh, not running behind every other thing which anyone around me was doing. Yes, and it's, it's always mm -hmm. good to be, um, uh, you know, I always say this is a competition with self. Before mm -hmm. you compete with others, it's also a competition mm -hmm. with self. So you are uh, basically have to control the urge to see what the other person is doing. I must do the same thing mm -hmm. or, or somebody comes and tells you something. Mm -hmm. You don't have to always follow what other people tell you. You have to have faith in what you are doing and uh, you know uh, and especially the fact that you had already got a rank 152 mm -hmm. in the previous exam probably that also must have given you an idea that yes what mm -hmm. I'm doing is right and let me uh, you know have faith on yourself mm -hmm. and probably that also helped you achieve rank 26 this time and uh, thank you so much Komal mm -hmm. and I can only wish you all the best and it's absolutely delight I'm absolutely delighted to have you here thank yes. you ma'am and God bless thank, thank you, you.